what is good youtube and welcome back to perspective and one thing and i know perhaps some of you have been asking the question and even wondering what happened the last three four months maybe how come there's been no new content and i thought to myself perhaps the best way that i could possibly make it up to all of you is to do something which i think would appeal to a lot of you so without even much ado yup that's right I mean, after all, who doesn't like a good giveaway? But you do have to stick around to the end to find out how exactly you can partake. See you in the video. Welcome back to Perspective with Mopi. And before I begin uh, kind of getting into what I have for you in this particular video, I just wanted to say a thank you to each and every person who's returning, every subscriber, I guess, who's already been on this platform, and a huge welcome to those people who are seeing and hearing me for the very first time. I can't thank you enough for just taking the time to watch this video. And if you do like it, please don't forget to like, to hit that notification bell, to subscribe to this channel, and of course, to share this video to whoever you I guess think needs it now let's get into what we have today the video is simply titled the correct motivation and in kind of making this video you know the thought occurred to me that some people might assume that this is perhaps a dig at motivational speakers or self-help books that I guess you could describe as motivational but this is in no means about those things or even those people but this is more about the internal motivations that we have with that kind of act like a compass and kind of shows the direction and kind of are a huge defining factor in the kind of choices that we make for ourselves. And obviously these motivations kind of speak on into different spheres and to different aspects of our lives, which is something that I'm gonna get into. And in light of all of that's happened currently in the world, I think a lot of us have found ourselves at a place that we never expected that we would be, and we've had to re really restructure and change some of the goals and the things that we were aspiring for. I think for some people, perhaps, you know, those things have looked differently depending on where and how bad exactly that you've been affected by the global pandemic that we're all facing. And in kind of thinking about this is what birthed this idea of the correct motivation. The term itself, the correct motivation, is not necessarily one that I coined, but I heard it from a different speaker and he kind of elaborated about the correct motivation and finding really the right motivation to kind of push you to make a, a deliberate choice about your actions or even the decisions that you make. And I kind of took that thought and extended that line of thought to different aspects and different spheres of life beyond what he was talking about. And I found that the same principle remains true regardless of where it is applied. So what exactly does the correct motivation look like? A lot of us perhaps could have different, you can know, educational goals, physical goals, financial goals, whatever the case, like we're, we all have things that we're aspiring to do and we're aspiring to become. But I find that a lot of the time, what could potentially sabotage us is the fact that we have placed our motivation in the wrong place. And I'm going to share something which is pretty personal to me and those around me who I've kind of led into this journey will probably attest to the truth in this. So for a long time, I've kind of had this battle with my physical health. I recall times in, in my own life when I was in, I could say, impeccable physical health, and other times when it kind of just slumped and it just didn't really necessarily be what I envisioned it to be. And the underlying principle that I came to learn is that all the times that I was motivated to actually be consistent with working out or even eating the right foods, the motivation was more so that I hated how I looked and not because I really did love my body and wanted the best for my body. And through a number of resources and even conversations over, I guess, the course of the last few months have come to this realization that the motivation that I used to have in wanting to maintain or have any form with physical health goals was always rooted in the hate for what I didn't like. But now my motivation and it's something that I'm constantly working on is to ask myself how best can I love myself in order to really reach the result that I'm desiring. This very idea of the correct motivation can definitely be taken and you could use the same underlying principle to look at any other aspect of yours in my life. For instance, let's look at how perhaps the correct motivation would be considered when it comes to our social well-being or even our emotional well-being. And in this case, if we're talking socially and your motivation is not to want to be lonely, so that's why you kind of put yourself out there and you're kind of making friends, which obviously is something I would encourage anybody to do is to 
def definitely make friends but kind of coming from a place or from a motivation of just not wanting to be lonely kind of puts an unspoken pressure on other people to fulfill this thing within ourselves that we are we have not i guess addressed and i guess the right motivation in this case even when it comes to our relationships is honestly to create meaningful bonds with other people and to figure out how ways that we could be a good friend to them and good friendship entails that we have to be selfless in how even we relate with other people when it comes to perhaps even just how the correct motivation can be applied when it comes to things such as our finances i find that a lot of people are working tirelessly not to be broke and the narrative obviously around is that if you're broke then there's almost something wrong with you but i think the right motivation in this regard would be actually to have a healthy relationship with money and to ensure that you have something for yourself that takes care of not only your needs but those of the ones that you love i think having this motivation of i don't want to be broke can honestly take us to a place where we guess burn out and even just reach a point where we've we, where we have been turned so much by every opportunity to seemingly invest in a good idea and those people who are watching this are in zambia can perhaps relate how this exactly has affected uh, perhaps somebody that you know or people close to you because every opportunity to invest is an opportunity that people are throwing their money and invariably trying not to be broke end up losing more money than they actually had to start with a king once said and i found this so profound he said that there's a way that seems right to man but the end thereof is death and i think that in sort of determining the right motivation it's important to really see where this motivation and the path that is leading us and to take our time even when it comes to the decisions that we make whether it's with, with our bodies whether it's with our money whether it's even socially with the people that we are in relationship with and we have around us and this can also be applied even with regard to our education as opposed to maybe just wanting to barely make the grade i believe that the right motivation should be actually trying to be good in even what we're doing when it comes to our education as opposed to just barely getting by you know people say that the moon to cool clear but i think the narrative should change from a moon to cool clear but like the narrative should change from just clearing but to also exhaling in that particular given course or field of study that you may find yourself in and i guess if i'm being honest some of you i guess watched the video up until this point and were motivated by the money that you saw in the beginning of this video and i just want to say that if you perhaps happen to know my home address please dare <laughs> please don't show up unannounced trying to figure out where all this money is or if or there was any money to begin with the right motivation i guess for any of us should be really in every experience and i guess even such as this is honestly to find out how best that we can both be of help to each other i can only hope that you watching this long that you've learned something or perhaps you know somebody who could use this information and you're planning to share with them and even as i bring this video to a close there's an idea that i kind of had to begin and if at all you're willing to go on this journey with me i'd be more than excited to have you guys come on board and it's just simply celebrating progress uh the, these words which kind of are very profound to me and it's baby steps of progress here on this channel as you know you know we only began this channel last year november if i'm not mistaken and since then i've been adding slowly bits and parts of equipment that I believe will definitely help the production and the quality of the footage that you see here. So I'm quite sure on the screen somewhere here, I'm showing you pictures of the lens that I recently got and the octagon box and the, cam and the, the light stand that I recently purchased. Uh, I guess that are helping me produce the quality of the footage that you're now seeing. I love the lens that I got for a particular reason because as compared to the one that I initially had when I got my camera, this one allows me to really, I guess, focus in more on the subject, which is me. And if I replace my hand back here, you notice that my hand sort of becomes a little bit blurry as opposed to when I bring it up close when it's clear. Like for somebody like me who's big into photography and videography, that's really exciting. And so I want to hear and I want to see how you're celebrating and being intentional about celebrating progress. If you have something that perhaps you began, if it's maybe before you couldn't do 10 press ups, now you can do whole 10 press ups without taking a break. Or it's even just doing something simple as, you know, learning to put your phone away for like maybe four hours and you couldn't do that. But I want to see it. I want to hear it. 
I want you guys to hit me up on my social media. Show me how you're celebrating progress. I'd really like to see that. And so again, remember, I really want to see how you guys are being deliberate about celebrating your progress. I'd really like to share in the joy of your progress and your journey. So if you're daring, if you're bold enough, send me a picture. If you'd like, send me a video and we could put it in this in the next uh, perspective with Mopa video. So here's to all of you and all the feedback I hope to get from all of you. Have an amazing week and enjoy the rest of your day, evening, morning, whatever it is.